All right, guys, what is up? Welcome to another crazy day in the world of crypto. And today we have a bit of a different video. We are going to be going through a pre-sale, which of course we do cover here on the channel. But this is a pre-sale for a meme coin. And uh, yeah, I don't normally cover things like this, but, but this has two things that fit in perfectly with the narrative right now. One being, of course, Pepe, and two being the fact that I've brought this up recently, and this is the BRC20 tokens. This is ordinals on Bitcoin. Basically, tokens on Bitcoin, right, that sit on the Bitcoin network. So this is a coin called Pepe or O Pepe, and they're launching starting tomorrow over on Pink Sale. So I want to give you guys an insight into what this is, what they're doing. I do think there is some opportunity here, but of course, guys, again, again, don't invest any money that you can't afford to absolutely go to zero because pre-sales are super risky, meme coins are super risky, and cryptocurrency is super risky. This project has all of those things. So be safe out there. Do your own research. I'm looking at this. I think it looks a bit fun. I do think that BRC20 tokens may be the next narrative going forward. So we want to make the best of that. And this is a potential opportunity, but no guarantees. And as always, guys, you know, I always have full transparency with you. This is a paid review here on the channel. With that said, uh, let's jump straight into it. So we can see the website here, Ordinal Pepe, the first ever Pepe on the Bitcoin blockchain. If we do scroll down, we can see that they say they've combined the most exciting, memeable coin in existence with Bitcoin. To Together we will make meme coins great again the ordinal way. Ordinals are blowing up as is Pepe. What better way to re-enlighten the meme culture again by bringing the two most hype cultures together. Now, I wouldn't say Bitcoin's too much of a hype culture, but this is pretty interesting in my opinion. Now, this is how the token is being created. So first they created an ordinal on Bitcoin. They then added their created ordinal to the Emblem Vault on the Ethereum blockchain. Then they fractionalized the Emblem Vault so that all of the ordinals inside are represented in an ERC20 token called dollar sign O Pepe. And recently they have added the first ever Pepe logo ordinal to their vault, further adding cultural value to O Pepe. Of course, you have to decide whether or not you think that. Here is the inscription right here on the Bitcoin blockchain. And you guys can check that out a little bit more if you do want to see it. Scrolling down, we can see the tokenomics for this project. There are zero taxes. The ownership is locked and renounced and there will be 2% safe for influencer partnerships, 6% for centralized exchanges, 50% for burns, 26% for the fair launch which we will be discussing, 14% for liquidity and 2% for the O Doge ecosystem and this team is also behind O Doge so something to check out there. Now here we can see they're partnered with Pink Sale and Dexview and if we do jump over to Pink Sale you can see that this pre-sale is about to launch in one day and 12 hours from filming this video. Now, of course, guys, there's no guarantee here. Pre-sales are super risky, but they can show some incredible gains. We've seen some wild gains here on the channel from pre-sales, right? Absolutely insane. Again, I do want to reiterate this as much as possible. Nothing is guaranteed. So if you were to take part in this, only invest money that you can afford to go to absolute zero. And that's it, right? If this launched and it went to zero, it wouldn't matter. No skin off your nose. If you did want to partake in this, there is a link. It's an affiliate link directly linking you to Pink Sale where you can access this. So if you wanted to remember the links down there in the description, they have also completed an audit by Spy Wolf. And this was completed on May 14th. So just two days ago. And we can scroll down to see different things about this project. Things to focus on would be the vulnerability check, threat levels, found threats, tokenomics, team information, and anything that you find interesting here. We can see that they've passed all of the vulnerability checks. They haven't found any high risk threats, medium risk, or low risk. Of course, this doesn't guarantee that everything's safe, right? This is just an auditing company called Spywolf. This is what they say. As you can see here, it does say that there's information on the team. Team 09. But if we scroll down, the actual ninth page is missing eight straight into 10. So there is no information on this team. Again, take that and include it in your research as to whether or not you want to get involved in this. All right, guys, so if we do head over to Twitter, we can see that right now they have just under 300 followers. So very early on, small stuff here. You can join their Telegram if you did want to learn more. And even though we can't see the team on the website, 
or in that audit, they have completed KYC over on Pink Sale, meaning that one member of the project has successfully completed the verification process at Pink Sale. Pink Sale have that information. It may be enough for you. There are a lot of projects out there that we have no idea who are behind them and do incredibly well. We don't know who's behind Pepe, for example. That's done incredibly well. There's no guarantees here, but just to keep you guys in the loop there, what I'm thinking. And as we can see, BRC20 tokens have a market cap of just under $500 million already. They did actually at one point reach $1 billion. Now, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people don't even know this is happening. And I do believe that this could be a big narrative going forward. So this could be the opportunity to get in on the ground level on a project that is harnessing the power of memes and of course, this new potential narrative. So with that said, guys, all of the links that you're gonna need are down there in the description. If you wanted to take part in the pink sale, again, the link's down there in the description. Thank you to Ordinal Pepe for sponsoring this video. If you have any questions, let me know down there in the comment section. And I will, of course, see you guys in the next video. Peace from me.